time to take a look at the Night Dance, another Yuri game on itch.io. Albeit this one was a submission for uh, the Amer Games Festival and not like Yuri Jam or something like that. Because there are quite a few games we've covered that have been submissions for that already. Um, but yeah, it's another visual novel. I have mixed feelings about these because usually there aren't too many choices to be made in a lot of them. It's literally just, you know, a graphic novel with some very long dialogue going for it. Ugh. I mean, if I wanted to read a book, I've got plenty of those. Mm, yes, can I help you? Never around here, are you? No, but my aunt and uncle stay not too far. So I had to come by for a story then? You're a bit older than my usual audience, but all I ask is for a listening ear. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, the worn out dancing shoes. Oh? It. Hmm? What? Well, we could offer a very basic telling of it, I suppose. Not that that's the correct version as far as this universe is concerned. Please do not interrupt. Overbearing, grieving king, a secret his daughters would rather take the grave than share with him. His wife's death made him a cold, heartless man. One who would no longer let things fall to chance. Promise to his kingdom if there be but one man who can uncover the midnight secret and discover what became of his daughter's shoes after hours. May tried and fail, but one succeeded in the end. May know this tale is the story of the twelve dancing princesses. Pity is there's only three young women. Yes, Heather the youngest, Iris the middle child, and Lavender the firstborn. And the series always painted as a man who discovered the long sought after secret and took the king's eldest daughter as his bride. That man was a knight from the neighboring kingdom determined to make something of herself, and she did. You don't believe me, do you? They never do. Forgive me, I haven't probably set the scene. Find yourself in the, the grand ballroom, surrounded by the sounds of great merriment that only strong drinks and high spirits can arouse. Hmm. I don't know. Feels a bit too fancy for me. All around you, people grab willing partners and make their way onto the dance floor. There's levity that surrounds you. Unfamiliar, not at all unwelcome. Now you're on to find a silver gout of a plum-colored liquid. Tea aroma is nearly impossible to ignore, reminding you of the tart, juicy blackberries of your youth. Decide whether it's safe or even smart to drink from the mystery goblet, you feel a presence slide up beside you. Stranger is tall, with sharp features and a gentle expression. Like the others, her gaze floats over the dance floor, almost if in search of something. Or someone. And then her eyes turn on you. Your breath catches, and you're too stunned to speak. Your cheeks and neck suddenly warm to the touch. The newcomer is stunning. Stood in this place before, for those dark brown eyes break across your curvy frame. The quiet satisfaction that makes you gladly forget years of straight posture and demure manners. You perked up when you heard your name spoken like velvet gliding across your skin. Heather, a pleasure to see you tonight. Isn't it always? Oh, Melt, eh? And should be playing a completely different song if we want to talk about melting. Though I don't know if we'd want to play the original or the bowling for soup version. It's a look reserved only for you, but you'll be damned if you let her know just how much it affects you. Her retort rises from your lips, giving back some of the control you forfeited earlier. Of a pleasure if my sisters know you're here. Instead of a drunkenly asleep. And Sally, these are like one of the, some of the few lines that actually are voice acted. And they shall only know if you let them in on our secret. Wing saluting to the fairy match allows her to go undetected when she follows you and your sisters each night. You always had to pay for sniffing out magical illusions, and it wasn't long for you to Read you had a stalker. You're still not sure why you kept the secret of the knight's presence. 
Perhaps you shouldn't get too comfortable then, my dear knight. Who knows what might slip from the loose lips? Is that a threat? Do you perceive it as such? Hmm. Oh, we don't get to see the front teeth gap? I mean, come on. We should indulge in this back and forth with her. Trying to only tea of her between you two has begun to make you see the other one in a different light. And it makes you itch. You should be out with the crowd, dancing the night away. Not waiting for Lady Urza to find you in the shadows and coax a single dance from you. Even now, your body aches to sway the music while you rest in her arms. Well, shouldn't you move on to the dance floor, then? Have I done something to displease you already, Heather? Yes, you are address me as your princess. I see. That wasn't where you belong to me. You finally accepted my offer. Yeah, it'd be hard to respond back to that one. I will, um... Ah. Hope it doesn't get stuck that way. That'd be horrible. Forever glaring at everybody. It's high time I find my sisters. Is it? Ah. Good thing there's servers floating around, I guess. But I've just arrived. Do many things, but a dance with you doesn't seem to be much of a priority right now. Well, perhaps we did. Perhaps for all you're drawn to the shape they make. If you want to trace it and commit it to memory. You wound me, princess. And you vex me, knight. Right there is a fidget under the intensity of her gaze. You imagine this might be how she managed to get the fairy to part with some of its dust for her enchantments. Ah, going in for a kiss already? Hmm. Heart threatening to leap from your chest. The rest of your body screams for her to touch you again. Treacherous, greedy heart that wants and wants and wants. Well, time to dance, is it? Do me the honor and grant me the pleasure of being with the most skilled dancer in the kingdom. Most skilled, eh? <laughs> Definitely sounds like it already has. Yeah, yeah I wish there were more images for this one. Dancing always feels a bit like how bird's flight looks. Just as taking the skies comes natural to them, the rhythmic movement of your body comes as naturally as breathing for you. Of course, yours won't last night, but then again, they never do. So you're looking forward every night to Lady Urza's presence that you never considered what you'd do in her absence. The thought chills you. Very grateful the rally has never presented itself and would die for you uttered the words aloud. Tell me, Princess, is it I who makes the smile as bright as the heavens? I hope so. Think too highly of yourself, Lady Urza. I must have sought in the truth. You have yet to disagree with me. If I disagree with every foolish thing you said, I'd find it rather taxing to enjoy dancing with you. Ouch. You need to count with me and not my dancing. Skill in so many other things. Congratulations, so am I. Man, this is a relationship born on snark, isn't it? There are a few things I don't know, and I imagine you do. Things you could teach me. Find a most willing pupil. Her future, her future woven into yours happens right nightly. She should be used to it by now. 
Layers are rather bold tonight, and it's becoming hard to fight against her charms. Especially when there's genuine longing in her words. I don't respond. You're not even sure how to respond. The other woman laughs knowingly. Tell me, Knight, if you always possess this silver tongue, you can only imagine the trouble it's gotten you into. Ah. Uh, and out of. What on earth is that supposed to be? Ah. Uh, well. Stop, spin, stop, spin. Yeah, I only really need to hear descriptions of what they're doing here. You stopped in front of the other woman who's managed to catch you a beat too soon. You know how she easily gathers you in her arms and leads you across the dance floor. Dare not, you allow yourself to imagine a lifetime of this, away from the kingdom, the nations of his people. Remember your father and the stagnant love he holds for your long gone mother. Your sisters and the large shadow they cast you without even realizing. Yes, everything you could ever want. Oh, you don't believe in Lady Fate, do you? It's not a bad, good idea. Ugh. Fate can be quite the cruel mistress of those that doubt her power. Then it ends their current selection. You try to untangle yourself from Lady Urza. Oh, it's firm. You don't fight as hard as you should. Heather. Midnight approaches, and I believe it's time for me to go. Princess. As always, you're a tolerable dancer, and I enjoy our time together. Princess Heather of the Charian Kingdom. Ah. Must you make a decision now? Oh, come on, we don't even get an image of them kissing. Ugh. Oh. Layers of pulls back first, but not before dropping a kiss on your forehead. So I've been shy of a moon cycle. I feel as though I've known you my entire life. So I'm terrified out of my mind, living a lie I could no longer sustain. I knew what I was searching for, but it was never a thing. You can silence her impassioned speech with another kiss. It's effective for the briefest of moments. Time's running out. She won't be distracted from her goal. Please, he love me as much as I love you. Whether I do or don't, what does that change? Everything. It changes everything. That's good, because I assume if they got back to her dad, he'd be quite, uh, displeased. It's not that simple. Stay in the night, you've grown to love to her death. Wait for another soul to try their luck, and you to learn the truth of your nightly whereabouts to your father. You leave, say goodbye to everything you've ever known, just for the chance of something more. Yeah, better make it quick. Time's up. Lady Esma, I... No matter what you decide, I love you. Well, obviously, we'll go with the truth. I mean, come on. The lie is too cruel. Will they? Well, you're not going to be there, so it doesn't sound like a case of your problem. Well, run away with me. Yes. Run. Run to the night like a pair of thieves. Make haste, my sister will have made the decision for me. And pulling you away from your sisters. Music the dancing. Rise your head for the enchanted bow. It's the same ones that. Safe passage for your sisters. So that's how the knight found this place. Run any slower, I'll have to carry you myself. Oh, you'd rather she didn't, huh? Man. 
Look at your class energy, just so that you can still see both of your buys, but they are outlined in a faint golden shimmer. Right at the boats, your left shoe gives out and you nearly tumble into the water. Yeah, definitely should get better dancing shoes. Well, yeah, hold in the laughs, you know, of the funny scene, right? Well, unknown passengers in the night. Start of your shared new adventure. So Heather and Urza made off in the night like thieves. Yeah, I already said that. Knight had stolen the princess and the princess who had stolen the knight's heart. Rasmus was quickly known, a search was dispatched to uncover their whereabouts. The two were never found. Not the princesses left behind? Eventually they were married off. Iris to a far off kingdom, and years later, the troubled king died. Lavender and the new king, her husband, were blessed with a child. No celebration for the new baby. They traveled far and wide to pay their respects and showered gifts upon the royal family. The greatest gift was the return of the lost princess Heather, accompanied by her doting wife, Lady Urza. Now, do you want another tale, or shall I finally be allowed to rest and turn in for a hot meal? Oh, a smile, eh? Oh, maybe because she was there? Yeah, just because you asked that question, I have to assume it's indeed true. Eh. Strange. Well, it's definitely better than the Barbie version. That's for sure. Well, that's the night dance. At least one of the endings. Till next time, then. See ya.